First Lieutenant Dumfus, Vanessa Camila, 943-2020-2419. Yes. Lieutenant Dumfus, this is a preliminary inquiry. You have not been formally charged. We're going to ask you questions to determine if the matter should be pursued. Yes, sir. You are suspected of the following offenses. Article 92 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, failure to obey an order or regulation. And Article 99, misbehavior before the enemy. At this time, Lieutenant, you should know that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a military court of law. You have the right to an attorney, which will be appointed for you if so desired. Do you understand these rights? Yes, sir. And I wish to waive these rights and make a statement. In regards to Article 99, misconduct before the enemy. Wildcard to Queen 6, requesting coordinates for cargo drop. Queen 6 to Wildcard. Drop zone is four clicks from Bullseye on Vector 0, 9 or 0. Repeat over. Bullseye is Vector 0, 9 or 0. Roger that. They say this planet didn't have what it took to become a star. Looks angry about it. Visibility is 30 meters on a good day. Sulfur dioxide atmosphere. Ground temps average 68.5 degrees Celsius at night. From what I've been told, we should be evacuating troops instead of sending them supplies. What do you hear? This battle's been going on since the beginning of the war, even though a lot of people think there's no strategic value. A guy told me there's a high rate of MIAs. I heard friendly fire. There's thousands of casualties. You know, neither side gains any ground. It's got some weird hold on the brass. They call it Tataris, a place beyond hell. All right, lose this scuttlebutt. Grab your gear, get ready to unload. Travel 10 light years in a vacuum and they're still alive. Coaches will outlive us all. Gotta give them credit. I'll give them the back of my steel reinforced boot. We're about to touch down. Go to black? Red. Go to red. 5 8, this is the flight deck. Prepare for touchdown in 50 feet.
just sitting here. One of ours! Maybe he thinks we're an enemy ship. Wang said you can't see. He gunned down those Marines. They came from his position. The guy's probably Section 8. Queen 6 to base. We've established geosynchronous orbit over your position. Unable to descend due to high wind velocities. Radio contact difficult. Continue emitting homing beacon every five minutes. Ace to Queen 6, in contact with friendly fire. Repeat, friendly fire. Please advise. I doubt he received transmission. I'm receiving this guy's transmission, loud and clear. This grunt is so far gone to fire on us, I say we put him out of his misery. We can't kill another Marine. We outnumber him. We proceed in wedge formation and close in around him. Right, right. Contain him and bring him back. Roger that. Fine. Gear up! Hawks, let's move. All right, watch your step. Oh, God. This way! Watch out. Look over here. They're all dead. What the hell happened? I count 12 bodies. Looks like the Chigs had a good day. Ooh, watch your step. What the hell is that? Where? Where's it coming from? <sighs> the hell is that? Where's that coming from? Marine, we're here to help you. How afraid are you? There is nothing to be afraid of. Myself. I'm afraid of myself. We all are. We never once returned fire. Did you give the sergeant an opportunity to explain his actions? Sir, you could have given him a light year and he couldn't have explained his actions. Then, Lieutenant, perhaps you could explain yours. It was the light. 
The Chigs have wired this area with buzz beams. Watch your step. Move out in the direction you came. Check your six. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Joker to Queen 6, respond. Request immediate evacuation. I'm, I'm bleeding. What, you never seen your own blood before? Are you afraid of a little blood? Get it off! 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 It's dead. I killed it. That bug's not all that's dead. And I'm not just talking about the radio. That Marine was outside, so whatever's affecting us comes from out there. The lights. Okay. How bad is it? The control board's cracked. Without it, the beacon can't go up. They're never gonna be able to find us. Thanks to you. If I could get another uplink prom, I could jerry-rig it enough to restore communication. The Marine at the perimeter, yeah, he had a radio on his field pack. That's right. A T-1540 LOS satellite. There should be a cluster of uplink proms in a compartment in the bottom of the dish. We only need one. We have to go back out. If we don't go out, we'll never get out. The prom looks like this. Check for the green wires where they cross with the red. What are you telling me for? I'm not going out there. What? You got a date or something? There's blood out there. What? If one goes, we all go. My suit's ripped. There's no way I can repair it in time. I need to fix it before we're evacuated. I can handle it. Okay, let's move. Fox, where's your helmet? It's harder to breathe with it on. The atmosphere is 80% sulfur dioxide. You'll be dead in 30 seconds. Put it on. We're going out. <laughs> Dereliction in the performance of duty is grounds for court martial. Lieutenant Dampus was the communications officer and therefore responsible for the operation and repair of the radio. Is that correct? Yes, sir. 
Did she refuse to go outside the ship to facilitate the repair of the radio? Does that accurately describe her actions? It describes her actions, but not her. Tell us about the bunker. It's getting darker. Kill the light! You're making us a target! Mm. Next time you turn it on, it's gonna be your head I smash! Ugh. Look out for those mines. Come on, Lang, hurry up. It's getting tough to breathe out here. Just give me a minute. We, we don't got a minute, fuck man. Shut up! Shut up! He can't see! He needs light, we can't see. No one can function in this darkness, but you? You broke the light and now it's dark! Shane, listen to yourself. Don't you go on me. We can't get all weirded out here. We gotta hold it together. At least until we get the uplink prom back to the ship. Shane. You hear that? You're what? Crying. A girl. She's in pain. Crying. There are hundreds of Marines out here. They're all crying. She's close. She's real close to me. West. West. Where did he go? West, where the hell did you go? I'm Nathan West. I'm with the 58th Squadron. We're here on a resupply mission. <sighs> Do you hear that voice? I hear a lot of voices. Can you tell me this battle, th those lights? You know what's going on here? You shouldn't have to ask. You've been here before. Anytime you awake in the dark in a cold sweat, moments before you were here. Who are you? I'm not me anymore. The light took me away. Here, the light is an enemy, an ally with the darkness. There's no place to run. There's no escape. There are 10,000 battlefields in this place. I've lost the battle. I've lost the war. And you lose too. We almost lost you in the ground fog. Nathan, what are you doing? There was a sergeant in here. He, he was telling me about those flashes of light. I can't see. What was he doing? Don't know, but I ain't going in there. It's too cramped. Dark. Come in here. Now! If we go together, you'll be all right.
see any roaches? Oh my god. Oh. Well, what killed him, the chigs? Each other. What is this stuff about remaining silent? Ask the question, Hawks. Each of you wrote in your report that 10 trained Marines killed each other for no apparent reason. They had their reasons. They might not have known them, and you might not understand it, but they had their reasons. If you weren't there, how do you know? I was there, and I was almost one of them. That's all, Lieutenant. Couldn't explain his actions. Wasn't her. I was almost one of them. It's like they can't explain what happened down there. I think it's obvious, Colonel. They won't explain what happened. They're covering for Demphos. They're covering for each other. They killed each other. They killed each other? Are you sure it wasn't the Chigs? No, this is an M590 <sighs> impact wound. Fired from point blank range. This lieutenant died from multiple stab wounds. She did it. K bar's still in her hand. He's got the same burns that. Na Say it, Wang, that we all have. I don't mean nothing by it. I'm just saying. What he's saying is that we have to assume we've all been exposed to it. The sooner we accept it, the sooner we can focus on not giving in to the effects and ending up like them. All right? We all got burned by those lights. And that's when Dan Fu started freaking out. And Wang, you weren't exactly displaying the nerves of a brain surgeon. Shut up! We're all a little scared here. All right! And we all had headaches in this area. That's where the amygdala area is. Come on, why do I know I ain't gonna be following this real good? It's a collection of neurons that houses fear memories. Injections in that area decreased post-traumatic stress in AI war veterans. Now, I swear, I heard an electronic pop before the flashes, like a bomb. What if the chicks have developed a weapon that could affect the area of the brain that houses fear memories? It would increase our phobias to the point of complete incapacitation. An electronic nerve gas that causes us to turn on each other. Why not just carpet bomb the area? Why bother investing troops into battle when you've got a weapon that causes the enemy to turn on itself? Can you imagine a large-scale weapon like that deployed over in New York or Los Angeles? Actually, you might not be able to tell any difference. The Chigs. What's no fear? Right. How can you take advantage of a weakness unless you know the power in using it? Chigs must know us. If the pain in the area has decreased, then maybe it wears off. Yeah, it might. But our resistance would be lower if we get hit again. Our fears will intensify. There it is. If we go out, we could get hit by those lights. We've got to go back out. We have to fix the radio to get the hell out of here. And we've got to get back to Damfus. Okay. All right. But if we get hit, we have to get each other through. The only way that we're going to be able to get through that fear is if we acknowledge it. But this thing, it's beyond fear.
First Lieutenant Vanson, Shane Autumn, 560-510-3184. You were the commanding officer of the supply mission. Yes, sir. Did you give Lieutenant Dampus an order to repair the radio? Yes, sir. Did she willfully disobey that order? Yes, sir. Was she physically incapable of executing the order? No more than the rest of us. So by your own words, Lieutenant Vanson, Lieutenant Damfus was derelict in her duties. No, sir. Lieutenant Vanson, you are contradicting your testimony. May I warn you that as commanding officer, you may be held accountable for the actions of your subordinates. Look... Sirs, I know that the point of all this is to get us to turn on one another. But you are wasting your time. How's that, Lieutenant? Because we already have. It's so dark out here. Hang in there, Shane. The ISSCV should only be 25 meters ahead. Keep going. You hear that? I heard a clack. Nobody move. One of us stepped on a buzz beam. It's me. Don't move. Oh, damn. And I was just about to start doing the hustle. What do we do? Shane, you got a field mirror? Oh, yeah. I could use touch-up just before being shredded into pieces. We can deflect the beam. Okay. Left that pocket. What are you doing? I'm trying to find the precise angle. If it's a right angle, it deflects the beam. Down, not up, right? Up, not down. Down is up, up is down. Oh, God. Hey, physics a bitch. Yeah, ain't it though? It's getting dark. Stay with this, Shane. Don't go off. When Wang says now, you go. Almost. Make me go. 
go in there. Vanessa, put it down! Get us! I'm not going in there. Don't do it, Foose! This is not us! There's a weapon. We're all affected. It's hard, but keep your head. I have the part. We need you to fix the radio so we can get out. There's blood on the floor. Fix the radio! Listen! Listen! Understand. I love you. But if any of you try to make me go in there, I'll have to kill you. Fix the radio, or there's gonna be blood on the floor where you're standing. Stop this! Stop! This is not us! Now, if we do this, the chicks win. We can beat them. Now, put down the guns. All of us. Vanessa, what if we cleaned it up? I'll know it had been there. I'm not going in. Okay. But I'll talk to Shane through fixing the radio. Okay, put down your gun. When McQueen evacuates us. If McQueen evacuates us! Shane! I can't fix the radio if I can't see. I'll turn on the lights. Now put down your gun. I'm not turning over my gun when one is pointed at me. Me neither! I'm not only not giving mine up. Cross this line, and you die. So much for working together. Go to the radio. Go! Way in the lights! No. That's a great space for roaches to hide. Remove the control board panel. In the upper left-hand corner, there's a blue plastic chip. That's the frequency converter. Beneath it, there's an uplink prom. Replace it. Increase the frequency range to 52.1 gigahertz. Queen of Diamonds to Queen Six. Come in, Queen Six. And on the beacon. What are you doing? Get back to the radio! The sound is like an AI transmission. It was dark the night they killed my parents. D dark. Just dark. Just dark. I... I could never lose that fear. I could never lose that fear. Oh, I can't. I... I can't. There's nothing there. Nothing. Nothing. It's just static. You're telling me it's nothing? Don't tell me it's nothing. You're hearing your dead girlfriend's voice. No! Ah! Hold your fire! It's just a bug! Just a bug? Just a bug? No. No. When I was a kid, growing up in that hellhole, when I wake up, I'd see him on my pillow. And on my face! I'm not going back there, man. I'm not ever going back there, man. So don't tell me it's just a bug, man. Get back. Oh, are you feeling a little closed in? Get away. I may have come into life in a box, but I will make sure you go out in one. Sayonara, baby. Oh! Make him stop. Why don't you come in here and make him stop? It's just blood. It won't hurt you. Jake! Where the hell have you been? We lost your beacon two hours ago. We need immediate evacuation. Roger that. We're out here waiting for you, 75 meters northeast of your position. It's across the minefield. You're across a minefield? It's the only spot to set a vehicle down. 
Now let's move. The weather gives us about a five minute launch window. And uh, watch your step. We can't handle that. Well, what if we get hit by the lights? The minefield's only 25 meters long. We felt the effects wear off before. If we get out, we make it across, we don't get hit by the lights again, we'll be okay. Let's hold it together. It'll be all right. Foos, let's go. Come on, damn Foos. The transport is here. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. Let's go. You're a Marine. seconds. Yes, sir. Nathan, stop. What are you doing? I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I won't find her. That I'll fail. Hey, it's not her. It's not Nathan. The light's telling you that. It's not you. You, you know you'll find her. gonna get me. Then they should get all of us. 
Look, we all told them about the lights. We've all got these burns, physical evidence. They've got to believe us. If they believed us, there wouldn't have been an inquiry in the first place. Look, it's what each of us didn't tell them. That'll make the difference. Whatever happens, I want you guys to remember that when we were in the thick, Paul kept saying it. This isn't us. But there was that small part that was us that kept us alive. The inquiry panel has voted against any further investigation. They won't pursue charges. So, did you believe us? We believe you were subjected to an unknown Chig weapon. If we've learned anything in this war, it's that the enemy down there is capable of anything. Get some rest. You earned it. The enemy was down there. But it wasn't the Chigs. Watch your hands, watch your hands.